Hi, it's Christy from Christy's Crafty Corner. Today, um, I needed to make some shimmer mist, so I wanted to show you how I did that. I'm going to be making black shimmer mist today. What you'll need is some um, the shimmer, which I use the LA Colors. It's a shimmery black loose eyeshadow that I got from the dollar store. I also, that's what I used for my white, my pink shimmer mists. Their colors are kind of limited. So what I also found at the dollar store was this eyeshadow palette, which I used for the brown. I mixed these two together. I have some blue alcohol ink that I'm making, so I'll use that. And I'm thinking that this will look really pretty in the purple. So I can have some purple shimmer mist too. So what I wanted to do was show you, it's really easy to make. I take these loose eyeshadows. I don't have a formula. I don't have the recipe. All I know is I like a lot of shimmer. So I figure that's a good start. I tap some out. I use, I need an empty spray bottle. Originally I had picked up spray bottles from the dollar store. They came in a three pack with one spray bottle and two flip cap bottles like this, which I like the flip cap bottles just fine. The spray bottles for me leaked a little bit. So I got a single two ounce sprayer from the Christmas tree shop. So I'm trying those. What I'm putting in now is this is my black homemade alcohol ink. I'm just going to put a little bit in the bottom of my container. I did drip a little bit, so I'm going to take a baby wipe and clean that up. I'm messy enough. When I craft, so I do try to clean as I go. And all that I'm using here, just like in the alcohol ink, is regular rubbing alcohol. Now, I don't fill it up all the way, maybe halfway, and that way that leaves me room to adjust. If I need it darker, I can add more of my alcohol ink. And then I'm just going to take that eyeshadow that I knocked out, tap it into the bottom. And because the eyeshadow needs something to bind with, I just have some liquid hairspray that I'm going to add into this mix as well. You don't need a lot, just a little bit so once it sprays and the alcohol dries, the shimmer will stay on your project. So I really like to give it a good shake in the beginning to make sure that it's all mixed up properly. And then this is my, I always keep a piece of cardstock in a shoe box, which is my spray box. It then, Every so often I change it out. It makes a great abstract background. But the box is a little big, so let me see if I can spray this. And it's super pretty. What's nice with this alcohol ink is it dries so quickly. because of the alcohol in it. 
I do think I want it a little bit darker though. That's a great charcoal kind of color. Let me see. I'll add some more of the black ink into this. Mix that in. Put that one aside. I have another tag here. Very pretty. The shimmer is outstanding. The light, you can really see it. I'm going to let that sit for just another minute or two. What I'll do is I'll show you. Come up here. This is my white shimmer mist. Absolutely beautiful purple or pink that I've made. This is a very soft brown. I just got a new toy. Let's see if I can speed along the drying process. There you go, you can see that shimmer now. So this is the black. And that's my homemade shimmer mist. Thank you for stopping by. Feel free to go over to Christie's Crafty Corner .com. Put the link in the box to see what crafting adventures I've been up to. Thank you. Bye.